John Barrett in search of Robert Jackson. They're in the village of Spring Creek, Pennsylvania. And beautiful hill. Now the farm property can be any It's quite some distance from here. I can get you close. Okay. Eldred Hill Road. <laughs> when, when, uh, so in our family, uh, as my brother articulated, that there was a sort of almost religious nature to, na to, to nature. Um, and that came from, from Bob Jackson down through my mother. And, and so, you know, she really felt that when you were close to nature, that you were close to truth with a capital mm -hmm. T of a sort. And, and she got this on these long expeditions that, you know, the Jamestown... They would ride, they'd go through Sugar Grove, then they'd head on the road to Columbus, and then they would cut, and I, I think it was at that Wrightsville cutoff, mm -hmm. and come up over Eldred Hill, uh, and then go to the, the trails, farm. trails, or are they just riding up through the, the dirt woods? Roads. Dirt roads. Dirt roads, okay. okay. Um, but, but, you know, these were arduous, long journeys. And right. um, yeah, I was thinking about that as we were driving over, um, that, you know, it was quite a thing. And she talked about coming down over Eldred Hill with her father, and lightning and the lightning bolts coming down the high wire and they're trying to keep their horses under control and and all this stuff so it was you know it was really an arduous journey and then he'd go and like you know sit on you know camp on a mountain side for two weeks doing like nothing but being close to nature and they finding a stream and catching fish and mm -hmm. living on that so. So bathing in the stream living off the land now porter's cash store used to be at the intersection here and then when you see it, they would they used to ride horses, and that's where they get their supplies. And then in the farmhouse, which is no longer, and the barn is no longer, uh, where he was born and grew up, were relatives, and I can't think who they were. You probably know. Uh, so there was always that safety net. Mm -hmm. And then when mom was there alone with some guy who was paid to camp out up farther up the hill and keep an eye on her, that was always you know safety net that she would always go into the farmhouse. And, mm -hmm. Right. Right. So. Anyhow. What's that? Does Eldred the name mean anything? Yeah, okay, I'm right. Julia Eldred Craighill. Okay, and uh, the there were several families that settled Spring Creek, but the Jacksons and the Eldreds were two of the <laughs> earliest. <laughs> and then they intermarried, um, and Good you job, can Julia. tell that better, John. But uh, that so th so that was a really close kind of family, mm -hmm. the Eldred connection. And is Eldred Pennsylvania? Well, we don't know what the Founded, connection is. They are connected? No. Yeah, we don't know, you know, if that's another branch or, or, you know. There hasn't been a lot of genealogy on this side. My father's family, you know, we go back to, you know, way back, very detailed. But but not, you know, the Jacksons, the, you know, Mom said, well, us Northerners don't do this with well, our family. Her father did some. He there's, did, and went back to England. Yeah, there's, it gets back to England, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was pretty far back. Yeah. Um, but I don't know all the side branches. But all, all that, that kind of in between is not very well documented. <laughs> so when they come to America, unless somebody, unless there's somebody who's got this somewhere that okay. we don't know. Okay. But I, th I think it was Grandma Stickler that lived up on Eldred Hill. Anyhow, yeah, and those have been torn down, I think. But we should go up there and see some of those old farmhouses because those are going to be just a couple of the few that are remaining. Okay. So. You're the tour guide. Okay. Okay. Down to cemetery? Mm hmm Yeah, we yeah. took a right and crossed the... Mm. No, no, no. See, what we did was... We're down here. We're right. On, we're on higher. Yeah, so Jackson Hill... Yeah, we're on this side, and the Jackson Hill Road goes up on the other side uh, of it. I get it. Okay, and this is a hill in between the two. The, right, actually, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And you are Bowden... Do you have a little name? Bowden is Suri. Suri. Bowden. Suri. Bowden. Suri was his father's father's name. Okay. Bowden was my father's name. Got it. So we didn't throw in any. Tom, you can give his daughter about five minutes. A know, distant cousin sold it. You know, okay. You know, in the 60s. So it really wasn't I mean, a loss to taxes or you didn't abandon the no, property. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. So. What, was, what caused the move to Cruz? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Right. Yeah. So w w when they did the move to Cruz, then relatives took it. I see. Here, 
And then on that bluff right there by those two big pine trees was the house. Mm -hmm. And that's the house he was born in? The ho I believe that's the house he was born in. Okay. So what kind of bridge, you know, before the days of steel girders? Mm. Because this is the Brooks Draw, you know, I kind of pictured a dried out little gulch. This is a real stream. This right. is a real river. This is where, of course, they took the, the logs down. Right, yeah, right. Now, yeah. now I understand that. Uh, it, it doesn't seem as low as I thought it would be, but this was the swimming hole that we used to swim in here. Right. And, um, but how would you cross it in a, you know, a carriage day? Yeah, I, I don't know, and I don't know when this went in. Right. Oh, this one's bridge to be um, over. That big of a pond. Right. Well, it's, it's pretty good. But, you know, this is pretty bucolic. So, Julia, in your, in your lifetime, you saw the house or yeah. it was always gone? No, I saw it. Okay. I went in it. Yeah. Okay. And kind of, the drive, the drive kind of just, you just sort of went up the hill where that big bush is and would park on that plateau beside the house. Uh -huh. And then the house was to, sort of to the How left of those trees. Okay. Can you describe the house? It was a, it was a farmhouse. It was a, I, my recollection of it, but it could be wrong, was that it was a center entry. Uh, you know, now I never went far deep into it because you always, it kind of had a big, there's a rectangular volume and then the kitchen was kind of added off on this side. Mm -hmm. So of course the way we always went in was through the kitchen. And uh, it, it was occupied or it had been abandoned? It was right? occupied okay. by Dot Henry. And who is she? D distant cousin. Okay. She married a Henry, so I don't know what her maiden name is. Uh, all of which somebody here knows. Right. Because it's, um, and so, so I went in that when she lived there and, you know, clabbered, wood, mm -hmm. kind of typical farmhouse. Mm-hmm. How many bedrooms? What'd you I, guess? I could speculate there were three or four. Mm -hmm. and not large. Heating or just fireplaces and stoves? I don't know. I'm going to guess. There's a stone structure up here. Okay. The foundation still exists. Yeah. Has to. So, okay. Um, I, I don't know. I do remember Mom talking about, again, I'm going to say Grandpa, Grandma Stickle, getting a tub and indoor plumbing. Uh, and not knowing what to do with it, so she planted flowers in the tub. And they used to take baths once a week in a big tub in the in the kitchen, kind of a communal, a communal thing. But uh, anyhow. And when you're visiting the house and Dot's living in it, this is what what year? What you're you're an eight year old or you're? Yeah, I'm like eight. So fifty seven plus eight. We're losing Bo in the underbrush. <laughs> It'll be fine. 57 plus 8, so 65, circa 65. Right. And then in subsequent years, as you guys are visiting Spring Creek, do you remember it becoming unoccupied, mm -hmm. falling, yeah. and yeah. disrepair? Right. So when, when it was bought by, uh, I think, a guy named Jack Frost. Um, okay. Relative or not? No. No. Out. People were arrested having chicken fights and stuff there. And so oh, when the police started coming in, it kind of left with McChesney with not a lot of options, I think, really, at that point. But it, yeah, we read about that with great. And and the fact of the matter is, how would have mom, you know, would have kept it up? Maybe made it a rental or. Right, you need, a, you need a tenant. Yeah. So. Let's go see it. Guys, some of the guys salvaged. So what did you girls find? The foundation. There's structure of you know, basically that's it. Mm -hmm. Kind of this over is, there. This is the house. This is the house where your great Grandpa. grandfather grew up. And we're guessing not yours. Her. <laughs> <laughs> Both. And down. And mine. I said yours too. But um, we're guessing that the roof probably fell in, and that's why only the big stuff is out here. Do you think so? Yeah. Well, there we go. We're trying to figure out how they got up from the basement, but we're not quite sure, because there are no like, steps or anything.
So in search of foundation. In search of barn, here we are, the intrepid ones. And we have found it. Yep. Not very fast, but I'm coming. Okay, well this is clearly a foundation. We are clearly with beam ahead. Okay, Julie, you've got a beam in front of you. Broken straw the way it should be. It's a grill from the second story of the house, opened up to let hot air rise up to heat something. Okay. A doorknob. A doorknob. Another yeah. doorknob. Doorknob. Okay, here we go. This is from the homestead, the Robert H. Jackson homestead, and he lived here from ages one through, or zero through. Zero through somewhere between five and ten when they moved to Frewsburg. Uh, it's delivered by a doctor. Uh, in 1892. Hello. Oh, uh, Thank you, Joe. 19th century living. Okay. Overlooking the beautiful Broken Straw River. Johnny! Had to have some kind of a bridge that got the carriages and the horses across. Had a barn. Had 80 acres of fields behind. Had Jackson Hill in the background. <laughs> 